Hello, today we're going to look at the new um, hypostasis event. You're allowed to use food, so definitely make use of him. A lot of it is just DPS check. Here I used Adeptus Temptation and uh, whatever element, whatever DPS element you're using. Um, just doing some um, checks here. So I'll be using Ningguan carry. Ignore the Duluk and the Shangler. Um, they're just here for the pyro resonance. You can use anything, amber or shangling. Um, yeah, I, I just bought him as backup, but I didn't need to. Um, I was worried about the final phase, but as you will see, it won't matter too much. Ning one will be doing most of the carrying here. Uh, for the move sets, yeah, if you're, it, it it depends on the range where you're at. So usually he's gonna do the punch. Uh, if you're like mid range. So he'll do a punch, clap, and then a slam. Uh, well, if you dodge the punch, you can set up for the final phase, final uh, move. Uh, here's another variation of the punch where you just do one. Uh, usually he will not start off with this, so expect the punch, slap, sorry, punch, clap, and the slam. Uh, in my strat, I use albedo as a passive, uh, passive support. Uh, pretend it's like official or something, but obviously official won't work here. Um, so I predict uh, the orbs here. The, the way you dodge it is uh, you position yourself in such a way so that you can dash towards the enemy and the orb will hit the ground as you dash. So the splash damage, so it won't home, it won't home, it won't go after you again. Over here, uh, you can use any uh, Diluc is unnecessary for here. I, I just wanted to um, get his skill cooldown in. As you can see, I had had a pretty um, generous window, DPS window there. If I stayed with Ningguan, it, it probably would have been fine. Here you can see Shangling taking care of this. I, I was worried about nothing. I thought, this is my first time clearing, so uh, I thought I would need crazy amounts of elemental skills to pop his um, final phase. But as you saw, it wasn't um, too bad. The main thing about the maximum risk um, with these type of chases, you're going to have to learn the mechanics on how to dodge. Uh, number one thing you should do is learn how to dodge the homing electro orbs when he goes airborne. Uh, like I said, you got to position yourself such that you can dash towards the enemy and the orb will go through you, hit the ground, and detonate. That way it won't, um, it won't home after you. It won't come after you. I'm just showing the artifacts here. Uh, but yeah, if you master the homing missile, homing orbs, I think your success rate will go up tremendously. Uh, you get one shot in max risk, so I didn't even bother bringing a healer. You can bring like a Bennett if you choose. You can bring Chi Chi, you can bring Barbara, anything's fine. At lower risks, obviously. At high risk, you're, going, you're kind of going to be strapped for DPS. So I would recommend bringing a Benny instead of Diluc in this case, if you need healing. Um, but yeah, uh, abuse the openings. You don't have that many, especially at max, max, max risk. It's you're strapped for time and everything. Uh, your DPS is severely limited, etc. So yeah, as you can see, my Ningguan was carrying, and she's not even one of the listed buffed characters for this, right? So yeah, good luck.